Sound, a simple vibration that travels through the air, water, or another medium. An everyday phenomenon we often take for granted. But what if I told you this simple occurrence is being harnessed to combat some of the most pressing issues of the 21st century? It's true. From protecting endangered species against poachers to solving perplexing gun crimes in bustling cities. Even the mysterious depths of caves are being mapped, not by sight, but by, you got it, sound. Now, if I told you that snapping your fingers could help design the acoustics of a concert hall, you'd probably laugh. But technology is making the impossible possible, and the world is listening closely. But wait, there's more. And this part, oh, you won't believe it. But hold that thought, my curious friends. We'll get to that soon enough. What's up, my amazing and curious folks? I'm Caesar, your inquisitive guide through the fascinating world of mysteries and records. And here with me is the ever insightful Sonia. Say hello, Sonia. Hey there, curious minds. Ready to dive into another mind-boggling mystery with us? Absolutely. And don't forget, my friends, to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss an episode of Curiosity Wonderland. Today's episode, oh, it's something, but let's not spoil the fun just yet, shall we? Let's dive in. Now, let's transport ourselves to the lush expanse of South America's Atlantic forest. Imagine over 900 square miles of the jungle teeming with diverse wildlife. But within this vastness exists a tiny fraction that serves as a sanctuary for the forest's dwindling jaguar population. Devastatingly, only about 300 of these majestic creatures are believed to exist in this entire forest. So how do we protect them from the ever-looming threat of poachers, you ask? Well, the answer lies in... Yes, you guessed it, sound. A Brazilian Jaguar conservation project implemented a unique and innovative mapping technology that employed sound to shield these beautiful beasts. Recorders were strategically placed high in the trees, camouflaged from the prying eyes of poachers. These devices captured the sound of gunshots from as far as 1.2 miles away. Over seven months, these sound snippets painted an audio map of the jungle, predicting with an astounding 82% reliability where the poachers might strike next. This enabled the park rangers to adjust their patrol routes and cover those areas where poachers were expected to lurk. A classic example of how sound is helping safeguard our precious wildlife. But the power of sound isn't just confined to the jungle. It has also found its way into urban landscapes, aiding authorities to combat gun crime. A U.S. company, Sound Thinking, developed a technology called ShotSpotter that uses an intricate network of acoustic sensors spread across a city. These sensors detect the sound of gunshots, providing crucial information to emergency services. Although, well, we'll get to that part later. Such is the fascinating power of sound, my curious friends. Wait till you hear what else sound has been up to. But before we delve deeper, what do you think about these sound-based solutions so far? Now let's turn our attention to ShotSpotter. This technology estimates the location of a gunshot based on the time it takes for the sound to reach various sensors. It can direct authorities to within 82 feet of a gunshot almost instantly. But this technology is not without its criticisms and controversies. Hmm, interesting. So like any technology, it has its pros and cons. Absolutely, it's a tool, and like any tool, its effectiveness depends on how it's used. Now shifting gears a bit, let's talk about using sound for mapping, specifically within caves. A Massachusetts-based firm, Asentech, developed a system that used gunshots and their echoes to map caves. Gunshots again? Well, that's certainly a loud way to explore caves. True, but the echoes of these gunshots reveal valuable data about the cave's interior. If this sounds familiar, it's because it mimics what bats do with their sonar, a process known as echolocation. So, we've borrowed a trick from our winged friends? Exactly, but unlike Batman's fancy 3D visuals in movies, real-life cave mapping technology yields simple graphs and written descriptions of the cave's interior. What about less noisy ways of mapping spaces using sound? There you go. Researchers in Switzerland crafted a system to map a room accurately, down to the millimeter, using just the snap of a finger and four microphones. 
Just a finger snap? That's impressive. Yes, it is. The algorithm used crunches the data from the microphones, considering their placement, the sound's distance from the walls, and more to produce a 3D map of the room. Sound truly is revolutionizing our approach to understanding and navigating our surroundings. So, we've seen how sound can map rooms and caves. Interestingly, researchers in Switzerland tested their sound-based mapping algorithm in Lausanne Cathedral to stunning effect. However, they see its real-life applications more in the realm of building design, especially for acoustic-specific spaces like concert halls and auditoriums. But sound isn't just helping us build better, it's also giving us insights into our volatile planet. Let's dive under the sea, where a similar concept to echolocation is used to map faults in the Earth's plates. Knowing the locations of these faults can be life-saving. The Palos Verdes Fault Zone in California, for example, poses a risk of causing a devastating tsunami. By mapping places within the fault zone where movements are more common, scientists can glean valuable information about the frequency and speed of the fault's movements. This provides crucial data about the risk to coastal communities and offshore oil platforms. This process, called seismic reflection, uses seismic waves, like those created by earthquakes or explosions, to render a profile of the various layers beneath the Earth's surface. Though they're not technically sound waves, some seismic waves behave like sound waves when moving through the air. And speaking of the Earth's rumblings, there's another natural disaster that can be better predicted through the power of sound, volcanic eruptions. A sound-based warning system designed by geophysicist Maurizio Raipip successfully predicted 57 out of 59 eruptions at Mount Etna, Europe's largest active volcano, between 2010 and 2018. This system detects infrasound waves, vibrations with frequencies so low they're inaudible to humans. But just because we can't hear them doesn't mean they aren't important. They're caused when gases rising from the magma shift the air inside a volcano's chambers, similar to blowing into a musical instrument. Understanding these infrasound waves is key to predicting and preparing for volcanic eruptions. Isn't it fascinating how we're using sound to safeguard our lives in so many ways? Sound's potential is not limited to our planet. It's even helping scientists examine some of the hottest events in the solar system, sunspots and solar flares. Dark marks on the sun's surface, known as sunspots, are thought to be caused by changes in the sun's magnetic field. Large sunspots are sometimes followed by solar storms and flares, which can impact GPS, communications, and potentially even electrical grids on Earth. To monitor the sun's activity, scientists used six telescopes around the world employing a technique known as alioseismology. This is essentially listening for changes in sound waves emanating from inside the sun. By tracking these changes, scientists can predict a sunspot even before it's visible, providing crucial advance notice for potential solar events. Moving from celestial bodies to terrestrial factories, sound is again playing a pivotal role. Modern factories are often large, efficient, and mostly unmanned. So, what happens when one of the machines breaks down? Thanks to artificial intelligence, we now have a solution that relies on listening. Sensors installed inside factories can detect sounds beyond the range of human hearing. These sensors record the sounds of the machines, which are then used to train machine learning algorithms. This technology can predict what a machine failure will sound like, even one that has never occurred before, ideally enabling factories to avoid costly interruptions. Can you believe it? Sound is helping our factories run smoother. Whether it's mapping the inner depths of caves or predicting when a machine might fail, sound is proving to be more than just a stimulus for our ears. It's a tool with myriad applications that we're only just beginning to explore. Our voices are like oral fingerprints, revealing far more than the words we speak. They can give away if we're nervous, angry, or even if we're battling a cold. But the potential of voice analysis doesn't stop at detecting temporary conditions. It extends to identifying serious illnesses as well. The tones and frequencies in our speech can change in response to conditions like depression, Parkinson's, and even cancer. In fact, over a million dollars have been invested in AI projects that can detect these changes, with the aim of speeding up and improving diagnoses. One of the most promising applications of this technology is in the detection of Parkinson's disease. Believe it or not, an ah sound made by a person can be analyzed for signs of Parkinson's with astonishing accuracy up to 98.6%. And what if I told you, sound can even predict stock market trends. German researchers have harnessed vocal cues to predict future earnings of companies, with results suggesting that analyzing vocal cues may be even more effective than number crunching. 
modern software can analyze the sound structure of a CEO's speech during routine presentations and detect subtle clues that might indicate the company's financial future. When the German team tested their system on historical earnings calls from 2019 to 2022, they found that their predictions could have beaten the market by almost 9%. From mapping caves to diagnosing diseases and predicting stock market trends, the power of sound is truly extraordinary. It's a tool with limitless potential, and we're only just beginning to tap into its possibilities. So there you have it, folks. We've journeyed from the depths of Brazilian jungles to the surface of the sun, all in the power of sound. This episode has revealed how sound, something we often take for granted, is a potent tool in challenging situations. From combating poaching and gun crime, exploring unknown caves, optimizing room design, to predicting natural disasters, machine failures, and even diagnosing illnesses. It's clear that when it comes to sound, we're only scratching the surface. And who knows? Maybe the next time you snap your fingers or say ah, you'll remember that these ordinary sounds carry extraordinary potential. Remember, the world is not just about what you see, but also what you hear. So keep your ears open, they might just predict the stock market. Incredible, isn't it? I hope this episode has opened your ears to the amazing science and technology behind sound. And hey, if you're as amazed as we are, don't forget to blast that like button. Share your thoughts in the comments and let us know if you have any interesting stories about sound. And of course, don't forget to share this episode with your friends. Let's broaden our knowledge together. We can't wait to bring you more curiosities and uncovered mysteries in our next episode. Stay curious and keep listening. This is Sonia and Cesar Chagas signing off. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next episode of Curiosity Wonderland. Goodbye. Today's fascinating exploration came from an article titled 10 Big Problems That Are Being Solved Using Sound by Kieran Torbuck. It was published on Listverse on March 11th, 2024. If you want to dive deeper into this topic, we've included the full URL in the video description. And with that, I'm signing off. Until next time, folks.